Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Welcome to a five-minute theology with Rev C. Five-minute theology with Rev C. Hopefully keep this video under five minutes, but give you some biblically sound, exegetically grounded theology. Taking tough topics, breaking them down so that you can understand them. So the first one I want to hit is baptism. What is baptism? Baptism, uh, identification of the believer. Baptism, you see, is appropriately administered only to those who give a believable profession of faith in Jesus Christ. Baptism is appropriately administered only to those who give a believable profession of faith in Jesus. You see, baptism is a picture, a outward sign of an inward reality. It's a witness. It's a picture. It's a living sermon illustration, if you will, of an inward reality. You have identified with Christ. You have identified with him. It is a picture shouting to the world. I pledge allegiance. I identify with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So what is baptism? Baptism, the potency of baptism depends solely on Christ. and has no independent potency of its own. Break that down, Rev. C. Baptism does not save you. The water does not save you. The potency of baptism is all based on Christ. And so baptism is your pledge of allegiance regarding the grateful service that is demanded of us. We pledge allegiance to Christ. We were baptized and we, we baptize others because he commanded us to. Baptism is in every case the response of a person who has come to faith in Christ. Baptism is a picture of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and their participation in him. So you look at Romans 6, Colossians 3. Although baptism and circumcision are compared in the New Testament, from, from this, in, it in no way follows that baptism, like circumcision, is to be carried out on a babe. So, other words, uh, infant baptism. This is a whole other topic we can teach on, but I do not believe infant baptism is biblical. Now, baptism is a once and for all act. The Lord's Supper and prayer may and should be repeated, but baptism may not. You see, you do not need to be rebaptized. It's not biblically commanded. It's not biblical. You do not need to be rebaptized. You see, the Christian baptism, Christian baptism, and here's a definition I want to leave you on, leave you within your minds. Christian baptism is an immediate profession of faith in obedience to the command of Christ. Acts 2, 38. Acts 2, verse 38. says, Peter said to them, repent, metanoia, change your mind, change your, your, your direction of life, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the free gift of the Holy Spirit. And this word for, for there is ice. It's, it's a result of. So we're not baptized to get our sins forgiven. We are baptized to show that our sins have been forgiven. Our sins have been forgiven. If you like this video, 
like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified of when I do other videos just like this five-minute theology. God bless you. This is Rev C. See you on the next video.